Hello, welcome to the channel. Do subscribe if you're new around here because we've got some really cool stuff coming up. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at this. So finally, I'm looking at this on the channel because I bought this what seems like a lifetime ago. It's the Power A Everywhere Messenger Bag. Now I had all intentions of reviewing it, but never found the time. But recently I went away for the weekend and I put it through its paces and I am really excited to tell you about it. I can't believe I've waited this long and it was one of the best travel bags that I've used, giving space and protection for your Switch, Switch OLED, and all the accessories. So join me as I turn up the lights, put this down on the tech desk and look at the Everywhere Messenger Bag from Power A. Welcome down onto the tech desk. And as we said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at this today. This is the officially licensed Power A Everywhere Messenger Bag. I bought this ages ago. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of it. And I never actually got around to using it. And I've actually finally took it away with me for the weekend, gave it a good old going, and I'm really impressed with it. So I'm really excited to talk to you about it. As you can see, it looks in really good condition. I didn't have to give it a battering over the weekend, but I've given it a clean up a little bit. And I think I've made it look pretty good. So you know that the material on there is nice and good. It doesn't say that it's waterproof. Um, I don't think it is, but it might be a bit splash proof because it's got that kind of material on the front there that feels like it. And this this here is like the faux leather kind of rubbery feel to it. And this uh, a rubber logo on the front there. This brown bit extends all the way around. But on this bit, this is one big flap here. And on the back, you've got your big long gray zip. This is the first pocket we're gonna look at. Zip with a rubber bit on there. This is nice and thin. This is where you kind of like your leg or your, your waist is gonna go. So you don't wanna to put too much in here. It's got enough room for probably a pad or some physical game car uh, game cartridges, but I wouldn't have said much more than that. And it needs to be pretty thin to go in there. So I'd say paperwork in there. On the top, this handle here. So this has again got this faux leathery, rubbery kind of feel to it. Nice and padded, really good quality. This is the way I carried it mostly was this way. And it's really good. That ain't coming off in a hurry at all. Really nice. And then on the sides, we have a place for the shoulder strap. Here it is, good quality again. This nice strap material, you know the stuff. Really good quality. Nice shoulder strap on there, feels really good. My only concern, if I did have a worry about this, was these bits that clip on the edges, they're all plastic. So I was just a bit worried, because that's a bit thin. I used it a lot, took it on and off quite a few times. Didn't have any problems with it. However, I don't know, maybe in the future it may. I'm just worried about that snapping just because they're plastic. Would have been nice to see them being all metal, but hey ho, for the price. So yeah, good, good shoulder strap. Like I said, they fit onto the edges there. Big long zip all the way around there and then fold it open and you're presented with the case itself. First thing I wanna talk about is the protection. So you can feel there's like a bit of cardboard at the back there and a bit of kind of rubberiness at the back there. So you've got a decent amount of protection there. You've got padding all around there. You've got padding all the way in there. You've got padding inside, you've got padding at the back. So you're gonna get 360 degrees worth of padding in the case. You know that your switch is gonna get a decent amount of protection. And if you look down here, we have this, which is a separate case for your switch. I'll talk about that in a second. And then you have these bits here. Now this is modular design. So these bits all come out, okay? And you can put them pretty much where you like within a reason, okay? Or pretty much just take them out. Um, I haven't really found a need to move them from anywhere other than the place that I go. So it came like this and I've, I've, I've kept it like that. Uh, it has that bit of Velcro there. So your case can uh, stick to that bit. And you also have a, a uh, strap here, a Velcro strap. So that's for your controller, but we'll talk about that in a second. So this is the case. This case is what you put your switch in. Uh, it's designed for the switch, not the switch OLED. However, I'll show you in a minute. You can put your switch OLED in there, no problem. Big long Velcro strap, Nintendo logo there. Again, padding, bit of cardboard I'd say in there with some padding on the top and then cardboard at the back there. And then this is padded to a certain extent. So again, decent amount of protection for your switch in there with six spots for your games. This is designed for the Switch, but when I put, got my Switch OLED, which is a few millimeters wider, 
There we go. Didn't fit it fitted in, no problem at all. And then all you do is line that up with that, bang, that goes in there. And then if you ever wanted to take your switch out, you can bang, you can take it out and you've got yourself a nice switch case to carry around without having to take all of this, if that's what you wanted to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack this up in the same way of the description and of the image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all stick our dock in there. So this is the OLED dock, easy. In there, it's for your power cable. Now, I, this is where I assume this is designed for the US market because the UK power plug is much bigger than the US power plug. It's huge. However, it does fit in to a certain extent. Okay, there's a little bit of pushing either side and it won't fit in the other way. So yeah, it fits in, okay. And then here, this is where your controller will go. Pop that in and do that. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of gap either side of the controller there. So you've got room for anything else that you might want to put in. So I've got um, some mem power banks, stick them in there if I want to. Uh, HDMI cable, put that in there if I need to. I've got, also got some room probably for a couple of other Joy-Cons if I wanted to put them in there or under there, however you want to. That's the beauty of this, fit this how you want to fit it. And speaking of fitting how I wanted to fit it, this is not how I really wanted to fit it sometimes. So what I wanted to do is try it with other things as well. So we know that other controllers can fit in there as well as that. You're not gonna be able to put your dock in if you're gonna have something else. You'd need to do things like take this bit out, put the dock in there, put the controller in there, but then you've got no room for the power cable. However you want to. So however you need it, you can suit it the way you wanted to do. But the one thing I wanted to do was I didn't wanna use this case. What I wanted to use, I wanted to use another case. So I was trying them with other ones. This is one of my favorites. Again, this is a power case. So this fits the switch and the switch light. And as you can see, the OLED. And then bang, easy. So let's put this bit back in. And let's fold this up. No problem at all. If you've got your favorite case you want to put in, it will work. The whole case itself is 41 centimeters by 25 and seven centimeters. So as long as your case kind of fits within those uh, criteria, it shouldn't be a problem. So this is nice and thin, so it fits in there. If you wanted to take out a bigger case with you in there, it's just not, it's just not gonna fit. Also wondered as well is, these are my favorite Joy-Cons. These are um, Binbok Joy-Cons with my Switch. They also will fit in there like that. It's a bit, a bit of a tight fit. You won't be able to take a case in there unless you've got a really thin case for these. They won't fit in there. You need to fit along there. But you, this won't go in with Skull & Co uh, cases or the Satisfy cases because they're just too thick for the case. Uh, the other thing I wanted to try as well was my NeoGrip. This is what I use most of the time. And yes, it will fit in there, no problem. Again, you're not gonna be able to have a case unless it's a really thin one, and I haven't got one of those, so it would need to sit in there without any protection, maybe putting something over the top of that. And similarly, with things like uh, Satisfy and Oivo, yeah, they fit in there, no problem at all, and this folds up, no problem. So really, you can suit it the way that you choose to take your bits around with you is the way that it will fit. It fits loads in here, really, really impressed with this. It has protection, it has versatility. You can put what you like in it. It looks cool. I absolutely recommend this to anyone wanting to go away and carry all their bits around with this. This is a fantastic bag. I'll leave links down below of where you can get hold of this. The Everywhere Messenger Bag from Power A. So there we have it then, that was my look at this, the Everywhere Messenger bag from Power A. Loads of really good reviews. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this. Um, you might already have one of these, or the Zelda version. It's a fantastic case, it really is. Um, go and have a look, because you might be able to get it in the sales. It's a few quid off at the moment on Amazon, so go and have a look. Please do subscribe, got some really cool stuff coming up, and until the next video, bye-bye.